Welcome back to IGN Live at E3. We just got a hands-on look at Sonic Mania, and now we're going hands-on with Sonic Forces. Marty and I are being joined once again by Aaron Weber. Now, whereas Sonic Mania is the new throwback Sonic, Sonic Forces is a more modern take on the game. Is that right? That's exactly right. So Sonic Mania, a very 2D, you know, retro-style game being developed uh, by Sega in collaboration with fans mm -hmm. uh, and fan developers. Sonic Forces is the new game from Sonic Team. Right. Uh, it's being developed on a brand new engine called the Hedgehog Engine 2, and it evolves what fans and critics alike said they liked most from 3D Sonic games. So in particular, that's stuff like Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations for 3D Sonic. Mm. Um, we've added in classic Sonic from Sonic Generations, and for the first time, fans can create their own unique character and customize it and customize the way it plays as they go throughout the game. Okay, so tell us, like, uh, give us yeah. a little bit of a detail about that. How does that work? You know, you've the, the roster of, of Sonic characters has grown, especially like once uh, Sonic Adventure was introduced. Yep. You know, the roster grew and only grew from there. So uh, the decision to let people actually sort of put their own personal stamp on it, where did that come from? Yeah, um, that, was, that was an interesting thing because I think the team uh, in Japan was, was partly inspired by the amount of creativity that exists within the Sonic fan base. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that have very talented you know, abilities when it comes to creating their own characters. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as far as the internet's concerned, sometimes we see the crazy things too. But I'd like to also point out that there are a lot of super talented fans out there that make really cool stuff. And so uh, we're allowing players now to, to take that and kind of, to a certain extent, make that within the game, within kind of the, the world and the rules of, okay. of the Sonic yeah. So do you world. choose like a base animal? That's and right. then yeah. you start uh, uh, customizing like color, gender, that kind e of thing? Exactly. Um, so you start with one of seven types of animals. Okay. Each of the animals has a different ability. So one of them might pull in rings that are nearby you. One of them, uh, if you get hit, might might keep an extra ring, you know, so you can get hit a second time. Yeah. One of them might have a double jump. So uh, that's how you start. And then from there, you start to customize the base model, right? You pick the gender, you pick, you know, the eye color, you pick the, the color of the body, and then from there you can unlock accessories and kind of deck them out as you're playing through the game. Oh, cool. And the more that you play, the more you're unlocking for your characters. Are those through. accessories cosmetic, or do they also give some sort of like stat boost or abilities? Both. That's the cool part. So there's two types. There's what I'm just going to call accessories mm -hmm. here, and what are called wispons. And accessories are how to decorate your character, make it look cool, right? Uh, and some people have asked us, is that going to show up in the cutscenes too? You know, like this is the joke with every game that has a custom character, and there's this really serious cutscene, and then your character walks in looking yeah. really. Silly with the sombrero or something. Yeah, that happens. Uh, right? Yeah, you can watch our Mass Effect review. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yes, the, your character will show up in the cutscenes cool. with whatever you choose to put on them. I like it. I like um, it. We're playing through, actually, here we go. We're playing through his modern Sonic right now. You're talking about the cast of characters. There's Vector the Crocodile, Try Me the Bee. Now, one of the cool things you know, about this game is we've tried to really hone in on three gameplay styles and stick to those three gameplay styles. Sonic Adventure had six gameplay styles, yeah. you know? Um, it's, it's kind of been condensed down a little bit, but even though we've got modern Sonic here, which is that evolution of colors and generations, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the original character they get to make kind of plays a little bit differently, uh, and we're going we're gonna to demonstrate that. Modern Sonic's got the homing attack. That was the stomp there that we just saw. Obviously, he's got the boost, and there's a boost meter in the bottom left that you can see. Uh, and so we're going to see, there we go, is Amy confirming that uh, Shadow has been spotted. Oh my goodness. So how did you, uh, obviously in the initial reveal trailer, it yeah. showed that it has both modern Sonic as well as sort of the little, the little classic Sonic, the little, yeah, yeah. little, the little chubs. It's got a little <laughs> yeah, yeah, which no, 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 I love. Yeah. Uh, so what was the, you know, where did that decision come in to like, hey, let's uh, sort of, you know, allow both worlds to collide? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was, that was uh, pretty easy, actually, because you look back at, at the games that, that both fans and critics, like I mentioned, really liked, yeah. you know? And, and as far as 3D Sonic is concerned, one of the, the most loved ones was Sonic Generations. And people said, this is a, a great throwback. The control's feeling good. It's feeling like a good step forward. And so we didn't want to necessarily just take that cookie cutter, right? The team never wants to take yeah. something and just do the same thing. So they wanted to make you know a game where it's not throwback levels. It's a lot of new stuff in there. And we yeah. have we have like a green hill, uh, but it's kind of like a, a dusty, deserted green hill that's yeah. being destroyed a little bit, right? He's given up. He's he's actually <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping to another level to show oh, us good, to good. show us the uh, the green hill oh, nice, yeah. in a second. Which is there's a boss fight we're going to show off. It's okay, going to oh, be cool. uh, everything you're seeing here is going to be playable at E3. Oh, so cool. if people okay. are watching this and want to play, come by our booth at at, uh, at Sega. Um, check it out. You can play all of the three levels we're going to show today as well as Mania, of course. Uh, so Green Hill looks a little bit different, right? There's, there's some throwbacks in there, but a lot of it's new. Uh, and so that's that's a big thing for us. So here we go. I think I, I hear it at least. We can hear. I hear the, I hear the <laughs> rolling. Powering up. Oh, there it is. Oh, so this is cool. So this feels like very much a classic Sonic boss. Yeah, minus the spinning saw blade. Which minus it, yeah, it, was, it was yeah. a wrecking ball. It was ball. a wrecking ball. Yeah, I remember that. It's, it's, you know, just slightly more violent. Yeah. Um, and you're like, oh, cool, I, I beat the boss. And then not quite surprised. So okay, that, as you... I, I did not expect that, I'm going to be honest. 
Well, good. We surprised yeah, you once did. at least. Yeah. All right. So we, you get these moments where, like, here comes the Egg Dragoon, uh, which is a very different boss from the original Sonic 1 boss in Green Hill Zone. And now he's got his own attacks. In the background, you can kind of see, like, the sand fall that's happening because Eggman has taken over the world. Uh, so Sonic and Classic Sonic and the character that you make in the game are all kind of fighting together as part of a resistance mm -hmm. to take back the world from Dr. Eggman. So in some ways, it's a little bit darker, but you still got your bright moments and bright levels like you kind of see here with the grass uh, blowing in the wind there. Uh, and we're just fighting back against Eggman. I think we're so going to try and beat him here. You mentioned uh, you, you wanted to pare it down to three sort of more focused game types. You That's have the right. Sonic Adventure game type, which we saw originally, you know, run, running through the city. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it adventure. I'd call it more like Generations. Okay, more like Generations. Uh, like an evolution of Generations slightly. And then we saw it sort of go into a 2D-ish. That's right. And then what is what would you say is the third? The third is is the original character, okay. like the, the custom okay. Avatar gameplay style. And that is sort of a little bit of, of the modern Sonic that we okay. saw. But it's got some new stuff in there with the Wisp on, uh, as well as the, the grappling hook that you've got. It lets you swing around levels and get to different parts. And we're going to see that in just a second. Oh, actually. very cool. With a, a customized character? That's right. OK, That's cool. Right. So I'm, cool. I'm curious, so you make your own character, then like when do you play as Sonic? Or do you choose who you play as with every level? Good question. Yep. So there are specific levels for specific characters. Okay. You okay. go through those as you go through the game. Gotcha. So you guys yeah. sort of identify in the story. You're playing a Sonic now. You're playing Ex as your exactly, character. Exactly. As you okay. flow through the game. Okay. Yep. Okay. And we'll take a look. We've got a randomizer here because we're like, we're making a build for E3. Mm. We should probably not let people make their own characters at E3, or the lines are going to be eight hours yeah, long. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. We, we just gonna, it randomizes it for you uh, when you come to play. Uh, and so you can kind of see that was the stomp ability. That's the custom character. Okay. It's kind of small here, but you might see it in more a little closer as we get to the end of what this we, level. What, what are we playing as? What's so the, what sort of a critter? This is, I think it's the cat uh, that we've got oh. here. Uh, yeah, you can make a cat, yeah. make a rabbit, <laughs> yeah. you, can make, you can make a bird. Uh, and this is the wisp bond, and by pushing, in this case, the triangle button right, we oh, can, nice. can bounce around uh, and platform using the wisp bond. At the same time, we can also use this wisp bond to uh, go on the offense, so we can hold down the trigger, and that'll let us hold out the flamethrower and just wipe out any enemy uh, that comes in our path as we're going forward, just like that. Well, it seems like in a, in a platformer, you know, precision is always key. So how do you balance giving the players the ability to uh, sort of customize certain abilities, certain stats with, you know, a platforming challenge? Yeah, it's a good question. And I wouldn't think of it as like customizing stats. You're not going in and like adjusting your jump okay, ability yeah. or anything like that. Uh, it's, You're not mid-maxing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's more of like customizing that wisp bond that you see the character yeah. with. And so you're adjusting how can I platform through yeah. the level when I collect those, yeah. those wisps, right? What secrets can I get to that I couldn't get to with a different wisp bond? Yeah. It almost seems cool, like that seems like built for sequence breaking and speed running and like being able to watch oh, yeah. people online do things where you're like, oh, we're like, we, we totally have, didn't yeah. plan for that. We've, we've already had that in some of our early testing. We're like, oh, do you know if you use this certain wisp on and just like hold this down, you can completely skip these sections. Yeah, we're like, yeah. oh, we didn't know that was the thing. So, I you know, love that. It's, it's kind of fun and I hope, man, I can't wait to see speedrunners because they do an awesome job with Sonic yeah. games in general. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to watch them. Now here, we're coming at the end of the level. A uh, cool crab guy. It is yeah, a cool crab right? guy. This is a fun moment for, for the uh, for the demo in the game. Here the we last go. boss was a dragoon. I think this one's the crab rangoon. It's the crab rangoon. That's yeah. right. Okay, we haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> the crab rangoon. I'll let the dev team okay. know that IGN has requested. <laughs> <laughs> That's a freebie. They can, yeah. I can it, have that it one. It might be too late to change it, okay. but I'll pass on the request. Uh, and this is kind of like a little mini boss. It's not really a full boss. Yeah. This is kind of this cool, cool cinematic moment at the end of the level. We're dodging uh, the bits of the level that it's throwing at us. You get a good view of the character that we've created here. Now, we've been pretty tame with this character. I just want to throw it out there. You can get really crazy with yeah. some of the accessories later as you collect them. And then we time that. Perfect. It's kind of a little cinematic moment as the character's going to zip around. Oh, this is, and now it's Uncharted. Now it's Uncharted. <laughs> <laughs> and take that thing down. <laughs> Woo, perfect. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff in the game, and this, there's even more we haven't announced yet that we're going to kind of be talking about as we get a little bit uh, into E3. So we have some more news coming up tomorrow. Uh, you can and, announce and it now if you want. I know yeah, I could, then why but wait? Yeah, my, just my, get ahead of it. My PR team would kill me, guys. They're not. He, they're probably. They're, we'll pr we'll <laughs> she's standing you. right over there, giving me this symbol. Like she's I don't know about that. Uh, so you announced platforms for Sonic Mania. Uh, so, Sonic so Mania, Mania, and Forces both coming out. PC, PS4, Xbox yeah. One, and Nintendo Very Switch. Cool. As yeah. we were talking about earlier, on the Switch, you can actually take the Joy Cons off and play Sonic and Tails yeah. for Mania, which like is really that. cool. That's worth mentioning. Cool. Uh, forces again, the same platforms, and the Forces coming out this holiday. We do have a release date for Mania and that's going to be August 15th. Oh, um, super soon. This yeah. year, it's coming out really yeah, right soon. That's terrifying so this year. We're stoked. Yeah, pre-order's up now, and we're like, we just can't wait for it to be here so we can see what people think of it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Forces is later this year. Yeah. That's right, but end still of this year. Yeah. coming 2017. That's correct, yeah. What I think is really cool about Forces is that even though it's the more modern of the Sonic games, I can totally see the threads that connect it to yeah. the classic Sonic games. Yeah. 
Which is actually, that's, you know, that's just a smart through line to, you know, both appeal to people like us who, you know, played Sonic when we were kids, but also kids now it's, it's who are cool. getting into Sonic for the first time. Yeah, and, and this started with Sonic Generations, but the, the title Generations meant more than just Generations of Sonic. It also meant generations of, like, of us as fans, because a lot of us that grew up, you know, as kids playing it now, getting old enough that we start having kids and yeah. doing yeah. adult things, and you're like, I don't, I don't want to do that, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Nope. but nope. even nope. so, nope. it's Thank happening. <laughs> time, time marches on, yeah. you know? So, so here we are, and, and it's kind of neat that a new generation of people can be introduced to Sonic and just your kids, dads can play with their sons or mothers with their daughters, whatever, right? So it's it's kind of neat that, that we've come to that point now with Sonic and with other gaming icons. Yeah. Aaron, thank you so much for bringing not one, but two Sonic games it's by the pleasure. IGN show. Thank Thanks so much for having yeah. me. Stay right there because Sony's press conference is still on the way and so is our pre-show. IGN Live at E3 continues right after this. Eat your mug. I don't want to eat my mug. Eat it. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> IGN Live at E3 2017 is